Ben Carson. Ben Carson um, was on the Brown and Scoop podcast today. I don't know what that is. I apologize. I'm sure, to be fair, Brown nor Scoop is aware of the majority report. So, Actually, I tweeted this link out, and one of them retweeted my link. So they're aware now, buddy. Oh, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, and this is what Ben Carson had to say. <laughs> I was a bad kid. <laughs> um, what would your mother have thought if she were alive to see you run for the White House? Um, well, I'm, 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 my mother's still alive, by the way. Right. Uh, right. She has Alzheimer's. Right. Uh, so she really is not cognizant of that, which is a good thing, because, you know, uh, my my mother is really a fighter, and, uh, you know, she probably would have taken a gun and gone out and shot some of the uh, dishonest reporters. And like I'm glad we're the good guys. <laughs> hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> hmm. I... That's um. That would be an re aggressive response. I feel two things. Wait now. Wait a second. Now, did did what? Uh, wh did this guy? Did did Ben Carson look to his mom to uh, back up his story about the getting stabbed in the belt or something? As I recall, he used her recollection of it. Yeah, it, it, she spoke to the media about the incident. The belt what? Stabbing Are you incident. sure about that? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if she did it recently. I think she had. Yeah, she, she had repeated confirmed the story it like decades ago. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think she wasn't out this summer. Wow. And uh, who are these good guys, Brown and Scoop? Are they really the good guys? I mean, do we know that? Have we confirmed that? I'm not sure. I hope they're good because someone's going to get cut. My mother didn't accept the law in her life, so she would literally murder reporters for saying <laughs> that I wasn't running an effective campaign. Do you know that one time, actually, I, I was able to, there was a girl in my hotel room, and she was asking me for change. And so I said, don't, don't you want to go to Mike Tyson's hotel room? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I will never forget his redirecting robbery. That it's my favorite Ben Carson story of all time. That's right. When he doesn't even recognize that he's being a sociopath. <laughs> like he's just like, yeah, that's when I accepted the Lord in my life and never acted in an ethically inappropriate manner again, which reminds me of another time I was at a fast food place and I goaded an armed robber into turning his attention into a vulnerable teenager at a cash register. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we need to do in this country, recollect our ethical and moral bearings. <laughs> wow. I still think there's a shot he's the VP. Really? And it's not just, I think that ultimately Donald Trump is going to absolutely pick someone who is in some fashion, you know, a yes man, which Ben Carson is a being there eccentric yes man, but he's not going to... He's not going to upstage Trump. He's not going to say anything other than I mean, he'll say some crazy things, but ultimately I, it'll be laudatory. I think we're going to see in like a like a, a Stockdale situation. Oh yeah, but but not that. I, I like, honestly like Jerry Boykin. Like I, I like that that would yeah, strike me Boykin as makes sense. the uh, the most obvious decision would be like a guy like um, you know like Boykin. Is it Jerry Boykin or William Boykin or? It's Jerry Boykin. You're talking about the the, the general, former generals that were in a, who, who were war class yeah, of civilizations with exactly. Islam. I, I mean, I think that's his go-to, right? I mean, yes. because that's there's Trump. Trump's like, where's a black general with Alzheimer's who loves me? <laughs> Does that exist? Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And just generally enjoy us.